Hey, how's it going everybody? Dan here with uh, Assassin's Creed 3. This is, as um, I've said this many times throughout my videos, this uh, Assassin's Creed is my favorite gaming uh, series of all time. I, it just randomly became that. I didn't, uh, I picked up the first one. I thought it was terrible, uh, kind of. I mean, it was okay, but it was for the most part kind of boring. And then 2 came out and wow, uh, awesome game and instantly fell in love. Uh, anything, especially with like the whole, whole historical and uh just the political struggles and all that all that cool stuff anyways um uh, i'm just gonna take a moment to rant on something called you play it is the worst thing and, and uh, i mean i love uh, I, I mean i love U ubisoft and i love pc games but oh my god you play is retarded it's just another account that you have to make that is just you have to go through to play assassin's creed 3 or any other ubisoft pc game i guess i don't know it, it was stupid it took me like 10 minutes just to get through the whole process I, sh I just wanted to play my game i didn't want to download something extra and all this other crap anyways um i'm not gonna let that ruin my experience because this is a game that i just uh, I'm, I'm just finally happy to be able to play it made me sad that the, the pc version came out a month later or a month after the console version but it's here now, and uh, yeah, sure, Desmond works. Uh, yeah, confirm. Used to be when people talked about the end of the world, we locked them up or laughed them off. Sometimes both, but we never took them seriously. Maybe we should have. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Better to start at the beginning with the abduction of Desmond Miles, my son. This boy had no ambition, no direction, no plans for the future. What he did have was a heritage. One he chose to deny. It nearly cost him his life. He was captured and imprisoned. Those who took him believed he could help them find something. The apple. One of several artifacts we call pieces of Eden. Bits of ancient technology scattered across the globe. Some hidden, some found. All of them dangerous. Most are held by a single group. The same group that now had Desmond. You know them as Abstergo Industries. We know them as the Templars. As the enemy. We've been fighting them for thousands of years. Even longer if you believe the stories of their origins. I do. After all, I've seen the truth. That's the beauty and the horror of the Animus. A device that allows us to enter and experience the lives of our ancestors. It holds the power to change everything, to show us history the way it really happened, up until its creation, to the victor when the spoils, when the truth. We're trying to fix that, to free minds and bodies both, but there's only so much that we can do, and the Templars have the upper hand these days, but something larger than the Assassins and Templars is approaching, bigger than all of us. And if we can't find a way to stop it, these next few weeks will probably be our last. Everyone's last. In the end, it all comes down to him. To Desmond. Through the Animus, he discovered his heritage, explored the lives of his ancestors, and uncovered their secrets. When that was done, he trained. He used another ancestor to provide decades of experience in the span of a few days. It worked. We think. We hope. Soon, though, soon we'll know that ominous date fast approaches, December 21st, 2012. None of us knows what it'll bring, only that this is where they want us to be, when it does. They've been guiding us in their own fractured, frustrating way. These voices from the first civilization, the ones who came before, a precursor race of immense power and uncertain motives. They're the ones who made the pieces of Eden. This is where they've led him, and through him, us. He stands at the entrance to this long-lost place, armed with the knowledge of Altair and the abilities of Ezio. He holds in his hands the apple of Eden, and we stand at his side, ready to support him, however we can. His name is Desmond Miles, and he has brought us to the end. Okay, um, I'm guessing it's not safe to talk yet, just because I know these guys are going to be talking soon. So, um, I'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> or, mm, at least, I'm pretty sure they're going to. Yeah, I don't know. We're here. 
here. Let's go. Okay, um, maybe there's not going to be much talking. Only one person, very silent group. I know last time, uh, whenever we left off, uh, or yeah, Desmond wasn't in such a great, uh, so in great condition. Anyways, uh, the intro was kind of nice, kind of long, but I, I really liked it. Uh, the only thing I don't like is the whole 2012, uh, you know, December crap, whatever. That's kind of lame. All right, why, why, why is everybody stopping? Oh, okay. In another moment, down went Alice after it, never once considering how in the world she was to get out again. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure how extensively I'm going to be covering this game. In Assassin's Creed 2 and Brotherhood, I did everything. Like I, I mean, really everything that I could do, almost. Uh, besides, like, find the feathers or whatever. Uh, not feathers. I think feathers is this game. Anyways, um, finding the flags and stuff like that. I didn't do that. I did go through all the, the hidden, mark hidden markings on the buildings. I did do that. But in Revelations, I didn't do much. I was, I was at a time in my life where I really I couldn't spend as much on a game uh, or spend as much time on a game. I think we're here. So I just played the main story. But with this, um, I, since I am doing the whole YouTube thing, uh, I would really, really like to be kind of uh, detailed if I can. But uh, we'll, you know, we'll see where it goes. Uh, I, I, the, the thing is, like, I want to know more about the story because, I mean, this is—I uh, mean, I just have to keep going with this story. But um, I, you know, I, I do definitely. I mean, there, there is a whole experience factor to it. Yeah, as I was say, I guess I should start running. I've also um, never played this on PC before. I always played it on consoles, but um, console... That's another thing why I didn't play Revelations as much, because I just cannot sit at a console anymore. It has to be my computer. So I'll have to get used to the controls, and I don't know if they'll be explaining that very well, since it's, you know, the, the fifth game in, or, yeah, the fifth game in. And plus, um, I am playing Assassin's Creed uh, 3 Liberation right now, my Vita. Sadly, I can't record it because there's no way to record Vita gameplay unless you point a camera at it. And for most, that's just, that's just not a good idea. But it is a good game, and, um, but, excuse me, uh, but, um, yeah, I can't sit down and play it as much as I could, uh, anything on PC, really, just because it's not, it's not my, it's, I just love the feel of a mouse and keyboard. And, um, this is quite a long intro, but what else would you expect from an epic game? Actually, most good games have very long intros. I mean, look at Hitman Absolution, which I will be playing more of tonight. Um, I, it is already late. It's past midnight, and I probably won't get to make many videos tonight. Definitely the first part of Assassin's Creed and Hitman Absolution, but, uh, or not, first part, second part of Hitman Absolution. Find the key. Okay, we're going to be finding a key in this game. Through an Indian. Yep, not doing so well. Desmond? Let's Can run. You hear us? Okay, spaces <sighs> jump. Good. Yeah. What happened? The temple triggered a bleeding effect. You collapsed and entered into a fugue state. So naturally fugue. you dropped me into the animus instead of, I don't know, making sure I was okay. <laughs> you weren't in any danger. Besides, the temple appeared to be communicating with you. And I didn't want to risk severing the connection. At least not until we knew what it wanted. 
Right. Of course. Son, I... No, it's fine. I get it. And I know what I'm looking for, by the way. It's a key. There's no idea where it is, though. I guess that's why she triggered the bleeding effect. She? Juno, Dad. She's talking to me. Okay, Desmond. While you were, uh, visiting Constantinople, we picked up a software update for the Animus. I'd like to run a couple of quick tests. Okay. Sure there aren't any Get to go over issues. this. That's nice. All right. What do you need me to do? We'll start simple. Walk to the marker over there. Okay. I okay. <laughs> I'll say where do I go? Anyways, it's very hard to um Okay, Desmond. Tell in Let's such an environment. Climbing on these objects. Ah, come on. Uh, maybe I'm not even going the right way. I don't know. I can't tell because I'm in such a crap uh, world. It's, it's like, come on. Can I not learn somewhere that's not all fragmented? I mean, I, I understand. Desmond may be fragmented, or at least his mind. Oh, come on. Assassin's Creed games. They are not incomplete without their um, random leaps to death. <laughs> I'm sure I'll have many of those. That's all right, though. Um... Oh sweet! I, did, I that was kind of cool. Okay, I'll try. No, oh. <laughs> thought about I thought I was gonna fall, but I don't know. It feels uh, actually. I mean, see, even this it just feels way more fluid on a on a on a PC than it does on a on a console. That's a These are optional oh no! That oh, die. Okay, there we go. What am I doing? Okay, come on, take some time, take a breather. Okay, now here we go. No, I keep pressing space. Space is bad. Well, space is bad when you're leaning, so yeah, note to self, don't press space. And uh, I have right, some friends. Oh, okay, some friends that have played this game, but they they um, they don't feel as as awesome as they did in Rome. Or as with Ezio, I don't know. It's gonna be hard to to beat Ed's Ezio. All you have to do here is Sweet. jump the gap. <laughs> I think I failed the gap. Okay, now what? No. Oh, uh, uh, I died in my invisible world. Wait, I don't. I I don't know what I'm doing though. I guess I do, but not really. I mean, I don't like this world. I want to go to a different... I want to go to the real world. I can't see anything. Okay, there we go. <laughs> God. What was that? There was a pole up there. That's not fair. Oh, come on. I have to go through this again? Anyways. I uh, See, I don't I, I don't ever remember there being a tutorial level like this in the other one. God, okay, that was close. No, what am I doing? God, why doesn't he just jump up? I mean, like, I know this game is... the Usually it's very intuitive, but nope. <laughs> I mean, it's for some reason not wanting to work with me. Wow, that was almost a fail. See, okay, right there. Like, how hard is it to, um, there we go. <laughs> God, I don't know why I couldn't just do that in the first place. Anyways, I'm not going to complain. Well, already, too late, already have complained, but uh, I don't know. I'm not going to complain too much just because, I mean, I know this game's going to be awesome no matter what. But yeah, a lot of people said that they don't like the settings as, the setting as much. Synchronization levels look good now. What am I? Oh, there we go. World. Sweet. Time to find out what the temple wants from you. Get to be a, a nice little Indian named Connor. Oh wow, that bottom left hand corner doesn't look like any other game I've ever seen before. Sir. Hitman Absolution. Sir. No, everything's not alright. Everything all right, everything's fragmented. Yes. Fine. I'm just preoccupied, that's all. Don't forget you Am I like a rich Indian or something? Guess so. Where shall I retrieve you? 
front of the Opera House. And be quick about it. Don't expect to be here long. I'll bring her round at once. Okay. Of course, now we have to go through all the proper introductions, which um, I don't want to make the video too long. So, I'm going to, you know, I like to make the first parts a little bit longer than uh, my normal 15 minute parts uh, with AAA titles. Shall I take your coat, sir? Not uh, yet. Yeah, like, screw, screw, screw the, screw the you. <laughs> I just need to go. All right. We're just gonna walk. Hello, everybody. Ah. Uh, no. I'm gonna walk past here, and I'm gonna kill somebody. Or at least I hope I am. That would be fun. First mission, curl. Oh man, I want to find a seat. What the hell? How am I supposed to find a seat in here? Look at all these people. I don't want to sit in the back row. God, I want to get a good view. Oh no, I have to sit back here. What is this? Excuse me. <laughs> My apologies. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Excuse, excuse me. I have to sit in the back row. That's totally not racist at all. Come on. Almost there. There we go. <laughs> I really didn't want to sit back here. I wanted the front row. Guess I'm not good enough. Oh, I guess I'm meeting somebody. Reginald? <laughs> Reginald. I'll tell you how happy I was to hear they'd mounted this revival. Gay's best work by far. Have you seen it before? Once, my father brought me here as a child, though I remember little of it. I don't suppose tonight will afford me the luxury of a proper viewing either. No, I'm afraid it won't. On to business then. Do you see him? Eagle vision. Do, 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 do. do I see? I don't see any gold target. Oh, I bet he's up the ass. He's up there. Up there. It's like playing Door of the Explorer or something. Do you see the gold target? Stare at it for three seconds and scream there. There it is at the screen. The stairs are watched. That's right. Yeah, that's going to be very difficult. I already have. <laughs> I already have, derp. Even though Abraham Lincoln was assassinated in a theater, it still looks very complicated, but that was also with a gun. Find a clue, secluded area to climb. Excuse me, excuse me. A thousand pardons, not just, not just one. He's oh. <laughs> like, sit down. Okay. Um. Oh, there's a secluded area. Nobody will be looking over here because who does that? I don't ever look off to the side when I'm in a theater. Ah. <sighs> okay. Here we go. No, start climbing. Where am I now? Um, over there. No, no, no. Okay. No, don't want to go down. <laughs> Nobody's going to see me up here. I mean, really, who would ever see me? It's kind of an, kind of um, unrealistic. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure I could end up going past our monocle. What are they doing? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, up we go. If I fall, I'll kill somebody when I fall. Well, no, no, I will not kill somebody when I fall. That is not what I'm here for. I do not kill civilians. I am here to kill the corrupt, not the uh, normal populace that have no effect on these such matters. All right. Oh, wow, what do you know? Nobody bought this one out. All these nobles and nobody bought this one. That's, that's likely. Alright, pick the lock. Nope. I gotta, okay. Move the mouse left and right to locate and hold the tension angle. Oh. Okay. Er... Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, okay. Well, that's okay, I guess. Not not terrible. E to skip cinematic. Why would I want to do that? Who would who would want to do that? I want to take every bit of um beautifulness inside my face. Now. Find a way across the stuff. Nice. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's not dangerous at all. Well, here you guys go. Here's some clouds. 
and a sun. Just, just, just one cloud and one sun, or at least I, I hope there would just be one sun. Two suns would probably make the world not inhabitable, or any of the worlds around it. Considering that, be sure. That, oh, you know what? Here you go. It's also it's day and night. <laughs> hmm. All right. Hopefully, I just don't. Uh, okay, I don't want to fall randomly and end up, you know, just just uh, ruining the whole mission. <laughs> ah, what's going on? God, it's so bright. Just. R it's all dark and then just, just random flash of white light. I don't like that, but that's okay. Oh, sweet. He's gonna be like, hey, what's up? I'm just gonna, gonna sit down quietly behind you and you're gonna be like, hey, Phil. Derp, derp. You should have come to me. We would have found another way. Yes. But then you would have known. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. As am I. Throw the back. That little kid sees me. <laughs> yes. Shh. Don't don't say anything. I see your face. And I will kill you. Hello, ladies. God, those hats are ugly. All right, time to make my grand escape. Because, you know, that was such a hard assassination. The guy even knew it was coming. Oh my God, somebody's dead. What? I can't run. Oh man, I just wanted to run. That guy. <laughs> it was him. That guy looked way too proper for a moment of crisis. Oh my god, are you wig-headed mother... Move. <laughs> oh my god, the women are even more annoying. Move! <laughs> ah. I will fast walk. Yep. Moving past you. Order. I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> what are those men doing? What are they doing? Oh my god, you already said that. Oh, where are we going? Oh, over here. My god, people pushing people everywhere. I want to know how he was found. Oh, he's... Where am I going? I'm escaping. So, bye. It was me. I don't care to say it. I'm kind of awesome. I want to get my assassin uh, robes. Oh my god, there's too many people. Who would want to come to one of these things? People everywhere. Oh, sweet. Let's go back out to a fragmented world. Well, the world's well, it's still being built. It's kind of annoying. Thank you. And how was the old Rather dull, truth be told. <laughs> Shall we be off then? Aye. To Fleet and Bride. By your command. I think this is the first assassin who's been... Well, the first assassin, really, that's had a lot of money. Gentlemen, I hold in my hand a key. And if this book is to be believed, it will open the doors of a storehouse built by those who came before. Ah, yes. Those who ruled, reigned, and vanished from the world. Do we know what it is that will be held within? It could contain certain knowledge. Perhaps a weapon, or something as yet unknown, unfathomable in its construction and purpose. It could be any of these things, or none of them. They are still an enigma, these precursors. But of one thing I am certain. Whatever waits behind those doors shall prove a great boon to us all. Or... Our enemies, should they find it first? They won't. You've seen to that. I assume you know where this storehouse is? 
Ah, Mr. Harrison. Gentlemen, how fair your calculations? I believe the site lies somewhere within this region. That's a lot of ground to cover. My apologies. Were that I could be more accurate. That's all right. It suffices for a start. And that is why we've called you here, Master Kenway. We'd like for you to travel to America, locate the storehouse, and take possession of its contents. I'm yours to command. Although a job of this magnitude will require more than just myself. Of course. Upon this paper are the names of five men sympathetic to our cause. Each is also uniquely suited to aid you in your endeavor. With them at your side, we'll want for nothing. Well, then I'd best be on my way. I knew our faith in you was not misplaced. We've booked you passage to Boston. Your ship leaves at dawn. Go forth, Haytham, and bring honor to us all. Sweet, off to America. Um, however, this part is getting kind of long. Gonna be going on 30 minutes, not far from now, but luckily that mission was complete. Uh, whenever, if there's a cutscene after this, I'll probably um, end the part there just because, I mean, uh, my computer cannot handle really long, uh, or really, yeah, really long videos rendering them. I don't know, Smite killed it. I, I, I really hope that I can you know do this video without any problems at all that would be nice but eh, who knows ah about 20 days later we finally make it across the ocean actually it takes a lot more time than that or at least I, th I think it did back then i'm pretty sure probably like a month or two probably just said something on the, like the bottom left of the screen like 60 days later or something like that i don't know wonder where these guys pooped probably out in the ocean some fresh air might do me good Okay, well, uh, whenever we get back, I'll uh, continue being on this boat and all that good stuff. But the part is getting a little bit long, so uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the first part. I know I did, and I cannot wait to play the rest of this game. I wish it wasn't so late, and I, or I would be playing even more. But I'm going to go record a part of Hitman Absolution because I kind of at least want to get a part of each game out. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.